While many games have given players the chance to pilot giant combat robots, Respawn's online first-person shooter Titanfall brings man and machine together like never before. Allowing pilots to embark and disembark seamlessly from their mechs. Control transferring to pilot. With its fast-paced adrenaline-fueled action in battles of up to 12 titans, it can be hard going out there for a pilot. So, for those of you in need of a little extra inspiration in battle, or maybe you just enjoy giant humanoid robots, join us on SciFilm 7 as we count down the top 7 pilotable mechs in movies. Kicking things off is James Cameron's sci-fi action film Aliens. Despite the fact the power loader from the 1986 film is not the most combat equipped machine to make our list. Where you want it? <laughs> Bay 12, please. When Ripley joins a team of Marines returning to the planet from the first film to investigate loss of contact with the colony. Get away from her, you bitch! It's the heavily armed Marines who are no match for the predatory blade tip-tailed alien creatures, and Ripley piloting the power loader exosuit armed with little more than a blowtorch that takes on the alien queen. They aren't much to look at, are they? Well, we didn't build him to do pretty things. In 2008 Starship Troopers 3 Marauder, Rico leads an elite team of troopers on a rescue mission to Oscar Miguel 1. A planet in the arachnid quarantine zone, Rico and the other six marauders enter Bugtown using the Federation's new battlesuits. Equipped with flamethrowers, dual machine guns, and the love of Jesus Christ, they attempt to defeat the Arachnid warriors and rescue the two survivors, Holly and Lola. The 2003 film The Matrix Revolutions was the final movie of the trilogy and showcased the armoured personnel unit defending the underground city from the Sentinel machines. The APU consisted of 350 hydraulic powered battle suits designed for combat and defence of Zion. With two 30mm cannons equipped, the APU mechs might just be reason enough to take the red pill. Remember, all I'm offering is the truth, nothing more. In 2009's Avatar, set in the mid-22nd century, humans are mining a precious mineral on the inhabited moon called Pandora. When the native inhabitants, the Na'vi, refuse to evacuate a sacred site, war breaks out between the native clans and the human RDA private security force. Not for the first time towards the end of a James Cameron movie, a human in a mech faces off with an alien species when Colonel Miles jumps into an amp suit. The AMP stands for Armoured Mobile Platform. Come on, come to Papa. This time though, roles have reversed as Nateria of the Navi and then Jake Sully's avatar fight with what seems to be the real monster of Pandora. Colonel Miles in his amp suit. Making it into our top three, Robot Jocks, a 1989 post-apocalyptic science fiction film set 50 years after a nuclear holocaust. 
Open war is forbidden by the surviving nations which have merged into two opposing factions, the Western-influenced market and the Russian-themed confederation. Achilles robot, the new Matsumoto 14, facing off with the confederation, Obolevsky. To resolve territorial disputes, the two sides hold gladiator-style matches between giant robots piloted by robo-jocks. I'm gonna get in this thing, and I'm gonna kick your ass! <laughs> the acting is far from Academy Awards standard, and the film's Cold War influence plot, plus the special effects, make it a little dated. But with espionage, genetically modified pilots, and stunning robots armed with some of the most surprising weaponry, it's well worth its number three spot on our countdown. What the hell is going on? In at number two is 2013's Pacific Rim, where an interdimensional portal has opened on the Pacific Ocean floor. Colossal beasts referred to as Kajus come through the portal and venture inland attacking the surrounding cities. In order to fight monsters, we created monsters of our own. To combat them, the Pacific Rim nations come together to build Jaegers, equally colossal humanoid war machines. The biggest mechs to make our countdown, the huge Jaegers are usually piloted by two people whose minds are linked to share the overwhelming mental load of operating them. Armed with weapons like these triple buzzsaws and retractable swords, should these gigantic mechs have been number one on our list? But it is pretty cool. Indeed they are pretty cool, and it's hard to find something not to like about these mechs, but perhaps the names Striker Eureka, Coyote Tango and Gypsy Danger could have been better. It may surprise some, but topping our list is District 9. Made in 2009, this film is about an extraterrestrial race stranded on Earth and forced to live in slum-like conditions. Hey, come on. Get up, I'm gonna get you out of here. I'm gonna get you to the dropship. While smaller than most on our list, this alien mech suit packs quite the punch. Armed with a plasma gun, machine gun, and the must-have for any giant mech, shoulder themselves. But best of all, it's equipped with a vortex shield capable of blocking munitions and reflecting them back to the enemy just like those found in Totemfall. Agile, yet powerful. Perhaps the only drawback to this mech is to pilot one you would first need to be suffering from a condition mutating you into an alien prawn like me. Still, with the ability to fire livestock at your foes, well worth in our book. Thanks for joining us to count down our top 7 pilotable mechs from movies. Did you agree with the order? Perhaps we missed one out that you would have included. If so, let us know in the comments section below and like and subscribe for more interesting content coming soon on SciFilm7.